Hello everyone, I'm United Baltic Duchy leader, Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Kaiserreich, playing as, uh, of course, United Baltic Duchy. So, last time we've established, we want to Germanize, we want to become part of the Vaterland, and support our German troops and Kaiser. So, uh, just a few comments, uh, someone wants me to play eventually someday, as maybe Lithuania, up, uh, you know, close to us, Lithuania, or other Eastern European nations, someday, not sure when, but someday. Uh, another one was play as a papal state someday, and I believe Democratic left victorious in Brazil. Cool. Dancing with syndicalists is a dangerous move. Yes, it is. Uh, play as the papal state someday. That sounds kind of like fun too. Actually, all these nations with unique focus trees sound like so much fun, and they probably are. <clears throat> another one was play equestria at war someday. I know I will get to it someday, but I really have to dig into the mod before I release a video on it or again because I had done, done one in the past uh colonize I did ask you guys yesterday should I colonize I will but here's the thing I'll colonize as soon as I can once I have a hundred political power once I have a hundred political power then I'll do both colonization we'll do it then which means I'm gonna lose a lot of political power every day whatever who cares uh, another one. I think there's another comment too. Oh, yeah. instead of building up civilian factories, which we might never get to, just build up some infrastructure. So we're done repairing our military factory. We're gonna make. We're gonna finish this civilian factory, and then we're gonna start building some infrastructure here, and then build factories in here once we become good old Germany or the German Empire. Ooh, we're now making just a wee bit, just a touch, a smidgen of artillery. Of course, we need more guns, but you know what else is new? It's still 1936, so we're still pretty early in the game. But my goodness. That is a beautiful Germany, not gonna lie, that is kind of beautiful. I would prefer to see it in Austria, uh, Hungary, instead of Austrian Empire and Hungary and Illyria, but it is what it is. But we have just given some land to our veterans, we've got more political power, army XP, and 1% more popularity of the paternal autocrats, and a little bit more Germanization progress. Establish a military academy, which is what we need for this. Autonomy into the Germans, so that'd probably be good to do. Let us do that. Or we could spend political power to improve our popularity by 5%. No one cares. Or get more weekly stability for a while. 19%. We're already getting a little bit more. Who cares about stability? If anything bad happens, Daddy Germany will come help and save us, right? Probably. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Next national focus. Let's just go ahead and... Let's do this. Establish a military academy as an imperial client state. We do not have a military academy of our own in which to educate officers. Oops, my bad. I let a day go by. Oh well. But with the recent waves of Weltkrieg veterans settling in our duchy, a lot of talented and skilled officers are waiting to teach a new generation. We can invest money into our own military academy as part of our reforms. Military factory, infrastructure, and we can do a decision. And right now, like I said, let us kill off our political power gain. Boom, boom. Now we shall colonize and lose political power every day. Uh, oh, we got fuel storage, which we probably honestly don't even really need as the United Baltic Duchy, but it makes me feel better. Let's see. Land doctrine, cool, superior firepower, better artillery. We might need that for where we're headed. We might need it, because there someday might be a potential rebellion. Paraguay falls to syndicalism again. There's left, right, can't they just pick one? No, of course not. We currently get zero political power a day, which is better than negative political power. And it's not hurting our focus, I believe. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We have the ducal government, and Brazil has gone left wing. It uh, Italian democracy survives. Oh, they're the social democrats. Cool. No Pedro, I guess, for now. Uruguay. Oh, Argentina. Complete political dominance. Patagonian workers front with a guy who looks a little shocked. Antonio Soto. Uh, Chile, syndicalists, Peru, conscription crisis in Quebec, more troubles in Canada, it seems. Pretty normal. Hot damn, look at that hat. Holy cow. Oscar Benavides Laia. Ecuador. Hmm, we've got quite a forehead. Uh, anything here? More rebels, new wave of refugees. I love refugees. Oh, Curlin is done. Rebelling. Revolt progress, 70%. We have 5% full Germanization progress. And how's America? They elected Jack Reed as president, which is... Wow, they're divided. Holy cow. Let's see. They have a political crisis. They only have negative 73% stability. And they're still doing... I see stability is just a number. Just a number, man. 
Uh, War Department expanded, the Great Depression with... Wow, that's a really bad head. Is that, is that even a head? It's been shattered so hard you can't even tell. And then, of course, you have Fruits of the Open Doors. Oh, good. But, oh, look at him. He's just looking at us kind of intriguingly. Edward VIII. Oh, Edward. And you have the Great Depression. Anglo-French tensions. Pretty normal. Compromise economic plan. They have, of course, Quebec in flames. This, uh, this idea has no effect, but it is a marker for the state effects in Quebec, which reduces resources and local manpower. Makes sense. That's actually a really cool national spirit. And then you have effects of the royal tour, and then British exiles. Wow. Uh, mine and Vefa, huh? I love the mine and Vefa. It does grab. I'll put. And are we done with... We're not done with that yet, which is okay. Guangxi military stuff. China. We don't really care about China. China is, well, China. Coraline. I actually built up the infrastructure so we can make, make this just a wee teeny bit faster. And we're basically out of fuel. Thank you very much, my submarino boys. Go home. And let's try to stockpile as much fuel as possible because we only get 48 a day. Hmm, not a lot. Organization for our leg like, infantry. Very good, very good, very good. Ah, we got 500 more manpower. Good. How much do we really need? Well, even though I'm make, trying to make divisions, some of our guys, well, still don't even have enough manpower yet. We need about 10,000 more manpower. A little bit more than 10,000, which is <clears throat> not great. You know what? If I could just lower that by one. Still need more manpower. Still need way more manpower. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, we've got a good amount of guns by getting rid of one division, which is fine, whatever. If that's a case, if that is the real case, we can maybe get some support equipment, maybe get some engineers on our engine on our infantry, just to make them just a wee bit stronger. Just a tiny bit stronger. Do we even have engineers unlocked? We do! Or recon, we can do either one. So if we make a little bit of support equipment, we can make each division just a little bit stronger, which would be kind of nice. Actually, we're making just barely any. The Cairo Congress. I wonder where I've seen this before. Hmm. Socialist Republic of Iran to Arabia to Seneca. Seneca. Huh. Ottoman issue. Establish a military academy. Glorious. How do we get a political power? Oh, nice. We get 0 0.01 a day. Now, I could guarantee the safety of Baltic farmers. Deutsche Baltica. We need majority German majority in those late places. What Germanization progress? I'm going to wait on this stuff. I'm probably going to expropriate land from farmers, but let's do economic recovery, because that's probably a good thing to do. So, the crisis known as black money has caused many troubles for our economy. More than 50,000 people had lost their jobs at the end of the first day. We have to do something, and our ministers are already preparing a plan to save our economy. Yes. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Motorized. Motorized sounds pretty good. Ooh, what do we need motorized for? Isana Division. Uh, re... Cavalry Recon doesn't really need it. Light tanks, motorized for motorized recon. Uh, that would be pretty, probably pretty good to do. We don't really need motorized. Go ahead and make some more of this. Actually, we do that. You get four a month. You get two. You get one and a half a week. It is what it is. You know, whatever. I could get more steel, but even then, we don't have a lot of things to do here. Let's just let time go on. What is Daddy Germany doing? Not a Christian pact with. Austria, Gruner Plan. Wow, that looks, hmm, not great. Proposal to allow cons conscripts to fulfill a year of military service through labor has been implemented, and the Black Monday crisis has been partially resolved by the extra employment boost. Serbia crowns King Alexander II, and that's like Dominion of India, I think, or something. Oh, the Princely Federation. Cool. All right. Well, they too believe that stability is just a number. And, of course, that's why I was lagging. Ah, Sweden's in the right spec. That's good. We have standoff in America. Uh, let's see what's happening. So, it looks like Pennsylvania, West Virginia. They have Wisconsin. No Minnesota yet. The American Union State did not get North Carolina or Tennessee, but they got all of Texas. That's kind of cool. Southern Texas. Uh, I've been in portions of Southern Texas. Northern Texas. Well, I'd say Northern Texas is more like this part of Texas. Central Texas is more like this part. Southern Texas is more like that part. Southeast Texas is like that. Northwest Texas is like that. And the rest of Texas is Texas. Oh, now they got Tennessee and North Carolina. Mm, so far, this is looking like a pretty fairly strong American Union state, but the CSA just got New York City. That is... and New Jersey. That's pretty important. That's Especially New York City. That's pretty darn important. 
Hunan clique has joined them. Who cares? Guangxi federal government proclaimed. Another one? This is getting ridiculous. Another one? Now there's two of them. That actually, you know what? Invokes War Measures Act. Canada moves towards authoritarianism, it seems. And, of course, Nevada has fallen to the PSA. Honestly, I love the way that the American Union State is almost a com complete line here. Just, if it wasn't for Missouri and their little boot, it's just, oh, God, I wish. That, oh, man, I wish it was just a straight line around here. Just, like, skim off just a tiny bit of Oklahoma and just make it a straight line. That would be beautiful. Ah, uh, the way Virginia and Kentucky look. Oh, that's not, that's almost a good line. But even tr Kentucky's a little uh, part of the problem here, but whatever. Whatever. And the Second American Civil War. What happens with New... Okay, I was going to ask what happened to New England, uh, Canada. As someone who's been to Boston, I feel really taken advantage of here. <laughs> uh, whatever. That's fine. I don't really care too much. I mean, these are Americans. We're, we're, we're trying to become more German, so that's what matters. And I need more political power to get German offices. 85% revolt risk. We'll probably have a revolt in this episode. You know, whatever it is. Whatever happens. Wow. The federal government is not looking good immediately. Into war stuff. Good. Grab some more construction. And then we'll get some production efficiency cap as well. Economic recovery plan is going swimmingly. It's okay to do. And you only get a 100% research bonus for industry, which is okay. It's not great. God dang, the American Union State and the CSA is really expanding fast. But the CSA did not get Minnesota or Iowa. I don't think I've ever been to Iowa. And there goes Washington, D.C. Holy cow. Yeah, I've never been to Iowa. Hmm. I've been to Minnesota. Wisconsin. It always seems like whenever I play Kaiserreich or any game that focuses on America, I always comment on where I've been in the United States. And democracy prevails in the Philippines. Alright, well, good for you. Peru, Bolivian Confederation restored. Well, you eliminated another country, which is great. Awesome. Uh, anything else around here? Does... Oh, Panama got to the Panama Canal. Japan announces her ambitions. No one really cares Japan. Maybe except for China. Now this is looking pretty awesome. Actually, Isiana Division. You already have infantry. Uh, I can't put artillery on these guys yet. That would cost me too much artillery. But we can do that. Make these guys even better. Germany, East Asia. Uh-oh. What happened over here? Oh, uh, Indo-Chinese Union won. All right, whatever. Kingdom of Siam is still in their civil war. China is, well, a mess on the coasts. And Mongolia. So you have Guangzhou. I've never seen this fa uh, faction come up, or nation. Chen Yongming. Restore civilian control in Guangxi. Hey, look. A focus tree. Huh. The Indo-Chinese revolt succeeds. Support the CIFRC. The provinces of Sichuan have been... Subject to food insecurity. Recently, however, this problem has greatly worsened, and the province has officially entered a famine. Philanthropists from around the world have begun to assemble conferences to help the province and have organized internationally uh, into the China International Famine Relief Commission. Many of these philanthropists, who have influence with our government, are petitioning we directly support famine relief efforts. This has the potential to greatly improve the international perception of our government, but it will be costly. Send them a shipment of grain. Give them financial support. It's only 10 political power. I mean, that's not, it's not that bad. I mean, it's only 10 political power. The second international. Someone tells me Spain is probably going to go kaboom as well. Hmm. Ukraine. Looks like you should really own oral stuff. But whatever. Economic recovery plan. Cool. Uh. Hmm. Government intervention. Rely on local businesses. Ooh, that looks like fun. Which way do I want to go? Requires one of the following. I can do this regardless. So do we want roads? Social investments? Baltic arsenals. I want to get get whatever gives me stuff for the very, very long term. So roads are pretty good. Consumer goods factories, that's okay. That really won't matter to us when we become Germany. And we get two military factories. And immediate 50 political power. Research speed won't really hurt us, give us too much in the long term. Neither will this. You need to get more political power. Daily political power. Gain. I love this. If I was going to stay as United Baltic Duchy for a long time... I'd probably go down this path, but government intervention is probably where it's at. So let's grab... Expropriate land from farmers. We might as well piss them more off. We're out of free land to distribute. A lot of farms are ran by native bolts, and this fact makes us dependent on their crop output. We can, inch by inch, force them to leave these lands in favor of our <clears throat> German refugees. Yes, if we say refugees, that makes them give the perception of weak or weakened... Immigrants, people who need our help. Yes, they're, they're, they're refugees from the Vatican, you know. Wow. 
Uh, uh, Alright, everyone take your bets now. Who is going to win the second American Civil War? Will it be the Federalists? Or the Federals? The Feds? Probably not. The PSA? Probably not. It's either the CSA or the AUS, American Union State. Or maybe even just New England, even though New England has not yet popped out. Or Canada. Hmm. I'm not really sure who I would who I'd support. I mean, like, I don't really know. That's a good question. Probably not the Feds, probably not the PSA, it's either one of these two. I'm going to assume the American Union State because they did get North Carolina, Tennessee, and all of Texas, but I could be wrong. I could be very much wrong. This, I would be terrified if I was the, uh, in the, you know, the regular U.S. in Ron Richmond. Oh my goodness, that looks terrible. And a Native Rebellion. Uh, it's just a, a Baltic War. Oh, oh, hello. Maybe I should have seen this one coming. So, our efforts to colonize the Baltic Duchy with German settlers has only been met with resistance. Recent events disrupt stability in the countryside, and our government, including the Duke himself, is authority for Balts no longer. Local resistance movements has called for open rebellion. We must react to this insolence and crush all the natives who dare oppose our rule. Latvia is free. SD Est. Estonia is ours. Mein Gott! Alright, so this makes it a little bit easier. Cool. So, everyone, please come down here. We shall take land as soon as we can. And Rudinger, what are you doing? You got nothing other there. That makes sense. Any upgrades for Harry Lutz? Yes. Any upgrades for the vessel? No. Call all of our allies in? Yes. Cool. And you immediately do that. Cool. Can you go go to, go to Dorpat? Can you guys go straight for the capital? Probably not. What I want to do is come right here, cut these guys off if there's any divisions down there. Cool, you guys are moving out. Good. We'll see what happens. The war begins, fearing the radical Latvian and Estonian rebellions the inhabitants of Riga and Raval have begun arming themselves and forming militia divisions in prepar preparation for the struggle. Oh. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And Metal Africa has been called into our uh, war. Cool, awesome. See, there's a division there. Go ahead and spread out as best you can. Um, you know, just just leave. Just don't even go that way. Just ignore this part. Just oh, Morocco's been called into the war. That's cool. Uh, thank you. See, and uh, the Spanish are having a slight civil war as well. Actually, can I use these guys? Convoy raid? Maybe? Maybe not? East Asia. Tsardom has been restored in the Russian Republic, probably right. There you go, the Russian Empire now, under Khalil I. Constitutional monarchy, well, we'll see what happens with that. Ah, oh, they're trying to take out my lands, and... Ah, oh, it's good being in the rice pack sometimes. We lose Rival, as long as we don't lose Riga, we'll be fine. Greece has joined the Belgrad Pact, sounds pretty dangerous, and that's okay with us. Romania has joined the Belgrad Pact. We need that tile so that we can just get them, get in the uh, foundation of the Belgrad Pact. Very nice, very nice, very nice. The 1937 Dutch elections. The Dutch do love their elections. Very good. Got three in there because I'm going to throw you right there and circle that one Latvian division and destroy it. Hey, 16 guys. All right. Negative 0, 0.00 political power a day. Move quickly. Huh. If not completed within 170 days, we lose 20% war support, lost momentum. When completed, we get. Political power, more division recovery rate, war support, and stuff like that. And they get lost momentum. Cool. Awesome. Uh, blow them up. Let's see what happens. Uh, we'll definitely have this done. Uh-oh. Re syndicalist revolutionaries in Switzerland. How could this happen? Oh, my friend. And they are going to die soon. Go ahead, my boy. Support the attack. Spanish Civil War. Just a minor civil war, my friend. And if we're just kind of hanging out here, we might try to encircle some guys here. Let's see what happens. Oh, look, the German Navy is in Reval for some reason. Very good, very good, very good. Peru Bolivian Confederation. Uh, gonna hang out for now. Let's see what happens around here. If they want to leave, I'm okay with that. I'm completely okay with that. Belgium is joined. Thank you, Belgium. I knew you were a great country, a great state. And anything else? Door pot. Let him leave. Let him leave. Great. Go ahead and just kind of walk right on in. Keep the Latvians at bay. Very nice. Go to Dorpat as well. Valmera. Nicaragua. Join up. 
Oh, I went to uh, Honduras. Support the attack there so no one can move. Hey, look! An encirclement, Mom! Aren't you proud of me? And there goes Latvia. Thank you, Latvia. Thank you for playing. And honestly, now you could probably just move in. And I just took Torpat. I didn't even give you orders to do stuff. There you go. Go ham. Get some army XP. Feel good about ourselves. Put down those boats! Put them down! Put them down now! Oh, some German Marines have showed up. That's cool. Alright, how close are they? They're pretty darn close. 95% of the way there. They've lost no guys. We've lost no guys. It's a pretty bloody war bloodless war, but now we've lost 155 versus 1,000. Nice. Very nice. And there it goes, Estonia. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for playing. The Baltic War is over. Ah, the rebellion is over. Great. The last filthy native resisting our rule was killed. This means that the rebellion is completely crushed. A hundred political power. Change in popularity of national populism minus 20%. Remove the national spirit of Bates? Baltz uprising. Oh, I kind of want to keep that. And then they lose cores. Forever German. Oh my goodness, now this makes me feel real good. But what does not make me feel good is a potential war with Russia. I don't think that makes anyone feel good, to be honest with you. There you go. Using five divisions, can we hold back the entirety of the Russian army? Probably not. Probably not. Well, we've got quite a bit of political power. So, full Germanization progress, 30%. German officers, thank you. Ostwald fortifications, we might do that. We built up a factory here, so that's great. Put you at the bottom. Hmm. Infrastructure. Sounds cool. And that'll help us build up a whole lot of stuff. And Corlin, you might as well do that. Since Corlin is the gateway to all these other places. By land, at least. Yeah, I'm going to help repair all that stuff first. Cool. And send in the army for more stability. What else can I do with my political... Oh, hello! Early mobilization, it really isn't that great. But it might give us just a little bit more fuel, I guess, or something. It gives us one more civilian factory to work with, which is fine. Whatever. Great job, guys. You deserve a cookie. Or a pat on the back. Or both. Really. Um, convert you guys to Aizen uh, divisions. We need more manpower. 12,000 more manpower. Holy cow. Go ahead and do that. Production efficiency cap. Well, that was that was fun. That was great. Ostval mm -hmm. thingies. We muzzle. Eh, we muzzle do that since. Oh, fortifications. Oh, any construction too. And then you'll get four forts in the state. Ah, that's free forts. Well, it's not free. Nothing is ever free. There's no such thing as a free lunch. But if we wanted to build stuff up, we could. We very much could. Sicherung's Brigade, which is like Garrison Brigade or something like that. Ah, look. Something tells me we probably wouldn't be able to hold up to the Russian menace. The Russian Kingdom. The Empire of Russia. Great. Well, the world's gone to crap already. Well, we've had our civil war. America's in their civil war. Spain's in their civil war. I can't send divisions or volunteers because, well, I don't have... I only have five divisions. Left KMT is gone. How oh, that hurts my heart. But whatever. Romandie is now French, as well as Upper Savoy. Oh, the poor Swiss. Honestly, that should really radicalize them even more. Wow, you've... You're radicalized in the direction I thought you wouldn't go. But okay, Mexico's doing the Third International. The government has failed. Well, you could probably say that about a lot of people. Oh, there you go. Nationalist coup. That's what I was kind of expecting. One Swiss people, one Swiss language. The refugee question. Cool. Encourage militarism. Study Commission for Nuclear Energy. Very nice. Awesome. I feel pretty good about all that stuff. We've been making convoys. Oh, that's right. I do have one a dockyard for convoys. Actually, we do have a little bit of naval XP. I did want to try this last time. Uh, that'd be okay. I think that's, this is good to make. Level 3, level 1. Anti-air. It is, it is what it is. Cool. Go to make it. We might make one... Uh, before anything else happens, just go to there. By 1939, I we might still be playing as the, the United Baltic Dutch by 1939. Maybe, maybe not expropriate land for farmers because they pissed us off. Because they didn't like our rule. So now we have to have a German majority in our states and have 100% Germanization progress. But let's continue trying to fix our economy. Now, that looks pretty good. It's a factory... And infrastructure. But how about, two fa how about two factories? So, we cannot allow this technician to continue. The government should assume control of all the major facilities. It is a harsh policy that will surely stifle our private sector, but will we steer our economy out of trouble? And also, a Baltic fleet. I do want to do that one, too. We get two free dockyards. That sounds like fun. 
so we can help bolster the German Imperial, the Reich's Navy. The Reich's Navy. And also, I'm glad that La Lithuania is gone just so that it eliminates another country for lag and we can do stuff around here. I wonder if the Germans are doing spy stuff. What are these division templates like? Six? What is this? Old World Blues? What are you using six combat with? Or 12 combat with? Six infantry battalions. This is not Old World Blues. Oh, God. Oh, uh, you know what? I probably want to become Germany as fast as possible because they might just go crazy with attacking the French lines when the second Bug Tree kicks off. If you know what happens. It's either... It's usually the Germans that try to attack into France and just lose millions of guys. It, it's not... It's not bueno. It's not bueno. But, oh, look. China's still a mess. Pretty normal. Anything else going on besides Siamese Civil War and American Civil War? Wow. <clears throat> Honestly, this hasn't changed too much. New Orleans, or is that Alabama? It's Alabama. Feds down there in Texas, Louisiana. It's always weird. I never remember. It's always weird when it dawns on me that Arkansas is right above Louisiana. I don't know why. Arkansas, you got some mountains up there. I haven't been to those mountains before. I don't know. There's quite a bit of a uh, rebel menace up there. Rebel menace. Cool. And we get no political power today, which is fine. Germanization progress, 36%. Uh, how much more progress do we get every day? Oh, Germanization reforms with Balts no longer willing to fight. There's nothing to stop us from further Germanizing the Duchy. We killed them all. Or killed enough of them. Let's zoom in to let the game process a little bit faster. And you know what? You guys even have a port, so you can't complain about us. Oh, no, it's 37%. It only went by 1% more, which is fine. Whatever. Portland is German, which would be great, 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 great. Uh, let's see. We've got 14 factories. How much support equipment do we need to throw on... Engineers. We need more political uh, army XP, of course. 30. We If we do that now, we will have negative 34 in storage, which isn't bad, actually. It's not bad. But then again, I don't have any manpower for this, so. Do we still get German refugees? Hmm, we might not. That's okay. Let the game go on as fast as possible. Ah. Uh. You, you don't even have any... Oh, you are born in 1899. Gross von Manor, Courland Government, Russian Empire. How about you, Harry? Born 1900, June 23rd. Riga, Livlin Government, Russian Empire. And how about you, Monsieur Rudiger? Field Marshal Rudiger. Oh, he doesn't have any background lore? That's disappointing. I like background lore. Gombinen? Huh. Mimel? Mazuria. It sounds like a place in EU4. Europa Universalis 4. Ah, uh, good times. Difficult times to learn, but good times. It's August 23rd. What can we do that could help us for the very long term? Radar. We might be able to build up radar. Maybe, probably not. Okay, six civilian factories. Not bad. The fall of Denver, the USA can't take much more, can it? Of course it can. There's so many. The USA is so powerful. The, you know, what was known as the United States was so powerful. There's now four United States. If you squint really tightly. You know, there's one over there, one, there's two, three, four. Sometimes you might even consider it to be five, if you don't forget Hawaii. Actually, Alaska has been taken over by Canada. Why is there no Alaskan option? I mean, yeah, it makes sense for Canada to take out Alaska, but why can't Alaska become its own nation? That'd be fun. Alaskan focus tree when? <laughs> oh, but really. <laughs> Hungry focus tree when for reals, man? I mean, come on, man. I'm not even Hungarian. They need one. They need one so badly. At least at the time of this recording. But Bulgaria is getting um, <clears throat> hit hard on a couple different fronts. That does not look good. I'd hate to play as Bulgaria. But you know what? I should play as Bulgaria someday. I've never tried Bulgaria in Kaiserreich. It looks difficult, and the Romanians are flooding in. Hmm. Oh, they're pushing back a little bit. Pushing back over the river. Construction 2 is very nice. Very nice. Uh, anything else that we could do for the long term? No, no, probably not. Probably not. Mm, there's honestly probably nothing we could really do for long term stuff. Resource efficiency gain? Probably not. Armored cars sound like fun. I don't have the capabilities of producing them though. Uh. Hmm. I guess just do armored cars. Why not? There's really not much we can do that will do, that'll save us for the long term. I should really play Bulgaria someday. The Prussia of the Baltics or Balkans, Balt Balkans. 
Bulgarians. Actually, how strong are you, Bulgaria? And also, that was another comment. Someone wants me to uh, get the Central Alliance back together. There, you know, have Germany and then have Austrian Empire and whatever they're doing, and help out Bulgaria and the Ottomans. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm not in control of you know the major power of the world right now. So, protector of the Balkans. Interesting. Interesting. No, hold on. They. I think they went with social conservatives. We don't know which way they're going to go yet. They haven't done the Ausgleich, I believe, yet. Hopefully they go with Embrace Pluralism. I love it when they go with Embrace Pluralism. But it looks like they're probably going to go with Status Quo, which is... Hmm. Big sad face. Oh well. I wish they would fix this. I would love to see Dualism restored. An actual Austria-Hungary. I think that'd be great. I think that'd be real great. Uh, you know what, from right here on out, just go and train. Just because we're going to need at least 10 army XP to level these guys up. Government intervention. I love government intervention. Sons of the Vaterland. That sounds like fun. Baltic dockyards, infrastructure. Mm, mm, mm. Long term. Armor blueprints. War games. Requires one of the following. Motorized. Land auction. Oh, expand air bases. I didn't see that one. Huh. Well... We could do Sons of the Vaterland, which is okay for now. Really, let's build up some roads, probably. Yeah, let's do that. So, many unemployed citizens are trying to find uh, any kind of job. We can help them by involving in infrastructure development. They will build up our roads, and we will pay them. This way, we can kill two birds with one stone until we run out of money. Hmm. It's always a problem when you run out of other people's money. But whatever. Eh, looks like there's a little bit of infrastructure problems here. How is Belgium? How's Flanders? Very, very developed. And they got enthusiasm. I love enthusiasm. 4% more population. That's great. Farmers aid. Awesome. Intel. They got a little bit of manpower. Actually, how much manpower does Germany have? Not enough. Are they social democrats? Social Democratisch Partei Deutschlands. Okay, cool. Whatever. That sounds nice. Lots of fuel. I like that. Army-wise, we got... Ooh. That's... That's, that's not, a, not enough divisions. You guys have 19... Uh, ooh. Benot Frachon. Revolutionary synthetic oil sounds kind of cool. Uh, war economy and agriculture, revanchist armament, very cool. And have they done their nationalist coup? Yeah. Oh, look at that! They have a plus shield. You look kind of old. Eugene Basha, national populist. Well, that'll do. That'll happen to you. Austria having a good time. Kaiser Karl. Ah, oh, Carlin is German! The Ducal Office of Immigration and Settlement reports that according to the latest census, the number of Ducal citizens of German descent in the Carlin statistical area has increased sharply, with settlers cementing the Ducal hold on the area previously outside of full government control. Carlin ist Deutsch. Oh, now we have a little bit of political power, which I'll probably actually do fortification stuff. That's probably the most important thing to do. We might get war propaganda for more weekly war support. That's not bad. Hmm. Build up roads. I love the roads. Can I get more? Oh, we can go to partial mobilization, actually. That sounds better. Seven? Wow. Seven civilian factories. We are on the up-and-coming rise. We might still have effects of uh, Black Monday, but you know what? It ain't so black when uh, we got Daddy Germany here. They can help us out. They can bail us out. How's Middle Africa doing? I did say in the beginning of the, yesterday's video, or the last video, I want them to not collapse. Oh, I love that guy's hat. Georg Kraut. An African army. Deal with the Europeans. An African army sounds like fun. Honorary officers. Yeah, so what are they up to? A sovereign state. An African Landtag. War economy. Cool. I need to play these guys someday. The spirit of von Little Vorbeck. Ah, oh, the line of Africa. Awesome. 29% stability. How are the Netherlands doing? They had an election. I guess they did okay with old Velhima there. And China's on fire. So, they have an economic recovery, which makes sense. They have a tire. They have some guy beating something. Public works. They have a book and stonks. High government debt, which... <laughs> what government does not have high debt now? And they're brawling on the streets. So they got lots of debts and lots of violence. Pretty normal, I guess, in the Dutch, Dutch lands. Sweden, you join the Reich's Pact. You got conservative army leadership. Maybe that's probably too conservative. Con too conservative. Statar, and then you have planes. Air Force investments. You guys, new Zemsta. Cool. I like your mustache, man. It looks pretty cool. You have economic depression, and you have Okrana, Okranoya, 
Oh, then, yeah. 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 Words. What is Finland up to? Oh, what? 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 Uh, what the hell is that type of flag? They're socialists? Syndicalists. Maklik is gone. Thank you. Russian grain in imports. Socialist constitution. That is a interesting flag, to say the least. I kind of like the flag. It's kind of interesting. Kind of, kind of, you know, minimalist. And then you got some working with landowners. Wow. Of course, plus twenty percent to your population probably doesn't do a whole lot, but I could be wrong. All right, let's make our guys just slightly more effective. Oh, well, you don't have enough. Uh, too much army XP. Yeah, we're doing pretty well there, naval stuff. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. You guys stop training. Give our other guys, the other fleet, time to train. Because even though we probably won't use these guys too much, at least giving them a little bit more experience will probably be good. Why is Iran socialist? Rebellion in Yemen. Bulgaria is not looking like it's having a good time. Oh, man, you're looking old, dude. What's going on? You need to get some better health care or something. Lingering famine. Oh, that doesn't help. Unruly Khans probably doesn't help. Albania joined the Dona Adria Bund. Illiterate populace. That's not good. And then they have weak economy. Disorganized military. Uh, wealth. They have some of the fist in the air. And now we have an event popping up. The Shuki Kingdom joined the Cairo Pact. Oh, that does not look good. Evolved socialism. Hmm. Socialist Muslims. Interesting. Ottoman Empire, Kingdom of Hawaii, join the Japanese country. We built up some roads. Ah, roads. I love the roads. I love Rhode Island. Cool. Social investments. To solve our economic problems, we need a stable society. Some benefits for the poorest in our duchy should be established. Everyone or everybody deserves at least basic economic security, and this will help maintain order in our population. Less consumer goods and more political power. Great, great, great. Oh, I would hate to be the Ottomans right here. Please do not lose Palestine. That's probably an important area for you. Syria has Jerusalem as a core state. Ah, Jerusalem. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, Saudi Arabia. Hello. How is China? Are they still burning? They're burning a little bit. Burning just a little bit. An Qing is looking pretty good. Uh, Mongolia is looking... Why did you release Maklik like that? That is disgusting. I guess it's a border country against each other, Tibet and Mongolia, but... Woo! That's disgusting. India is looking pretty normal. Mm -mm, they don't really hate each other too much. Japan, what are you doing in this campaign? You are being national populist. Barely majority. Imperial power. Oh, Japan, you're always a very interesting nation to play as. Imperial power. Cool. Well, okay. good. Good luck to you. We're out of fuel, which is fine. I don't really care. Just keep doing more fuel stuff. How is Australasian Confederation? They always change governments like every six months, right? He looks really determined. Prince, jo Prince George. Hmm. Prince. Is he important? Probably not. Cool. Computing machine. It's almost 1938. America is looking America. Or American. Yeah, the Canadians, well... Man, I thought they were supposed to, you know, live... You know, live free or die. What? Uh, whatever. Livland is German. Uh, it's basically the same event, but just Livland is German. So is Esland. We actually get some flipping political power. We have 86% of the way there towards full Germanization progress. And I could get some land forts. Hmm, how much do we get a day? 0.73. Uh, I could go to partial mobilization for 100 political more power. I could get more fuel. I could build military factories up more. I could get... How many civilian factories do we have currently? We currently have 11. We currently use 7. Honestly, getting any more probably wouldn't matter too much. Uh, i just go and do this. Why not? We'll do it eventually anyways. Oh, wait. Oh, we can only do one at a time, maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Whatever. We'll do it at a time. Seems like it took more than it needed. It's 86% of the way there. Mm, 87. Great. Social investments. It's almost 1938. Is Germany helping someone here? Oh, we got some Belgians, some Spaniards, of course. Well, I guess that makes sense that Spain is helping Spain out. Russia, some Italian boys. Of course, the CNT is getting help from, you know, those people. Uh, oh, German Empire, yeah, helping out the Kingdom of Spain, which is getting help from Germany and Russia. Which I guess makes sense of both monarchies. Delay Doctrine, very cool. Get mobile defense, that'll be very important. 
yeah, uh, America, you definitely, oh, AUS, you definitely push up through the center, which makes sense, which I don't agree with. I would not want to push up this way. I've not yet played, at the time of this recording, as American Union State on my channel. I've done the CSA before. I haven't done the PSA, which sounds really difficult. I would not have done this. I would have just let the CSA, the Pacific Six, take over this area and just concentrate on taking out the combined syndicates. That's probably the most important thing to do. And it looks like Washington, D.C. is back in federal hands. Good job, guys. That will not have any sort of problems for the future. Bul I oh god, look at Bulgaria. They look as bad as McLeek. They're just diagonal. That's disgusting. But happy 1938, my friends. We're trying to go as fast as possible to reform ourselves and get some social investments. Go, 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 go. The Greeks are in circle, but probably the Bulgarians won't, uh, you know, concentrate on that too much. Uh, what happened over here? Did the Ottomans take this? Maybe they already had it. The Ottomans aren't doing great. They're not doing bad. They're trading territory with Iran. Oh, Sig Sigismund's coup in White Ruthenia. Nationalist coup. Interesting. Brother against brother. Really, man? Really? Mastriki Kingdom has capitulated. Very nice. Oh my god, how do you pronounce that? Zimont Zephars von Hohenzollern. Born Sigismund. Nice! Oh, not nice. No, 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 no. That's not nice. That is evil. That is bad. Sigismund, what are you doing? No, that's, that's, no, 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 no. Now, I don't, oh, they have their own faction. The Russian Alliance, that does not sound really all inspiring. Hmm. Hmm. Belgrade Pact. Oh, yeah, the Don Kuban Union is not in the Reich's Pact. I kind of wish they had their own focus tree, though. That'd be kind of fun. They're guaranteed, of course, by the Germans, but Germany's probably not going to help them out. I hope they don't. Just because I don't want to deal with that too early. Actually, what's the st stats on Russia? Kreil, of course, they don't have that much manpower. Of course, they're on volunteer only, which makes sense. Uh, a couple divisions. And I'm letting this video go on just a little bit longer, just so that we can get through it a little bit faster. And I want to get this last focus done before we end the episode, so that I can spend a little bit of time off screen, just kind of going ahead in time. Uh, good, good, good. Support equipment. Well, we got enough stuff for most of these people, but... Come on, you guys looking good. Uh, these divisions, 18. Cool, interwar armored cars. Grab some of this stuff. It's good. We need so much manpower, man. But we're looking pretty decent. What's the population of our country? 2.7 million. That's really, really not a lot. But we've got some social investments. Next up, I will go ahead and do... Baltic arsenals for more military factories and political power. So, our country has always had a problem with the military sector. Now, with many free hands available, we can send them to military factories to produce guns, tanks, and aircraft. This, again, should solve many problems at once, but I'm going to end the episode here and just play this a little bit off-screen. I'll probably play this, unless there's a major catastrophe that happens. I'll probably get through the next 70 days to get through this focus, so we'll see what happens after that. So, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We had our Baltic Civil War. We saw America go descend into a civil war, as well as the Ottomans are having problems, and the Spanish Civil War. Like I said though, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow as we experience 1938 together. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.